This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather Ho, there's Jeff Cutter, and welcome you to another sports catastrophe on this day. And on this day, February the 20th, in the year 2014, Canada won the women's hockey gold medal. You may be thinking to yourself, oh, how boring and all that. Shut up. Well, regardless of that, when you look at it, it was historic for Canada winning the gold medal. Because with Canada's gold medal win against the United States in overtime, which I will talk about more in depth later, the women's hockey team won their fourth consecutive gold medal. Only the Russian hockey men's hockey team and the Canadian men's hockey team, well, the Russians from 64 to 76 and Canada from 1929 to 32, did that fourth straight gold medals. The Soviets, that streak got ended by the miracle on ice, which I did a sports catastrophe on a couple years ago. And Canada's streak was ended by Great Britain, of all countries, 1936, although there were a lot of ex-Canadians on the British team. Anyway, Haley Wickenizer, Jane Hefford, and Caroline Lett got four Olympic gold medals. Those three joined Alex Tikhanov, a Soviet biathlon person, and German speed skater Claudia Pechstein as the only athletes to win gold medals in four straight Olympics. So, anyway, there were a lot of problems with Russia and all that. So, the whole thing is that. But it didn't matter. Russia got disqualified. I mean, personally, I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, after all, well, Russia lost. Russia took sixth place. I mean, do you really have to disqualify Russia? I know they had the doping thing. Do you really have to disqualify Russia? They didn't even do that well. Sixth place. That doesn't affect anything. So, anyway. So the top four teams, based on the IIHF world ranking, women's ranking in 2012, competed in Group A, Canada, U.S., Finland, and Switzerland. The other four countries were in Group B. The top two teams in Group A got buys to the semis, and then the third-place team in Group A would face the second-place team in Group B, and the fourth-place team in Group A would take on the Group B winners and all that. So in that tournament, Canada was at El Perfecto 3-0. Shutting out Switzerland 5 0, Finland 3 0, and giving up goals to the Americans. They actually were down 1 0 after two periods, but thankfully for Canada, they won the game. So, they did all that. Americans finished 2 and 1, while Finland beat Switzerland, but that was in overtime, so they only got two points. Anyway, Group B saw Russia, Sweden, Germany, and Japan play. Russia cruised through, crushing Germany. 4-1, Japan 2-1, and shocking Sweden 3-1 because Sweden usually is a, a hard-pressed team to beat. So Russia and Sweden did it. Germany and Japan would have to play for 7th place. Like, that matters. In the 5th to 8th place bracket, well, the quarterfinals happened. Sweden beat Finland 4-2, the, the Nordic battle, and Switzerland took care of Russia 2-0. So that meant Sweden and Switzerland would go to the semifinals. Finland and Russia would have to go to, to classification. Finland did beat Germany 2-1, and Russia crushed Japan 6-3. Finland and Russia played for a fifth, which Finland won 4-0, and Russia still had to be disqualified because of the doping thing. Germany beat Japan again 3-2. Poor Japan, I feel so bad for them. In the semifinals, the Americans crushed Sweden 6-1, and Canada cruised to a 3-0 lead after one period against Switzerland. Fortunately, though, that was enough to win 3-1. The bronze medal game on February 20th saw Switzerland down 2 nothing after two periods and it looked like Sweden was going to win the bronze. But somehow, in some way, Switzerland scored four goals in the third period to win the game 4-3. So Switzerland got a bronze in women's hockey. Bravo. And now it's time for the main event. It was time for Canada versus the United States. February 20th, 2014. I was nervous about that game because, you know, Canada... The Americans always give Canada a hard time. It was Shannon Sabatos versus Jesse Fetter in the Nets. The referee was from England, the Lions woman from the Czech Republic. So anyway, the Americans scored first in the second period when Maggie Duggan, ho! No, not in that way, ho, because, you know, Duggan hacks out Jim Duggan. I don't think she's related to Jim Duggan. Anyway, Megan Duggan. Scored from Jocelyn Lemaru to make it 1-0. 
And then in the and then early in the third period, in the first few minutes, a goal by Alex Carpenter made it two nils. Assisted by Harold Knight and Katie Stack. Canada was in trouble. Canada was really in trouble. They were down two nothing, and it looked bad. But for some reason, Canada came crawling back. With less than four minutes left, Brienne Jenna Jenner scored a huge goal from Megan Mickelson and Jocelyn Lerac to make it two to one. So Canada was in the driver's seat. So Canada was down two one. They needed to do an extra attacker, so they pulled Savills, and then the puck went to Mary Mary Poulain, who I did a birthday girl on a while ago, scored from from Rebecca Johnston and Haley Irwin. They make it 2-2. Overtime beckoned. And the Americans got themselves in trouble by losing two people in the box. So Marie Philippe Poulin got a pass from Laura Fortino Scored in the high slot just before the first penalty had ended. And Canada, on a two woman or two man power play, however you want to call it, scores to win 3 2. Canada comes back from 0 2 down in the last five minutes of regulation and forces overtime and wins the game in overtime. It was huge. However, there's a personal story to this for me. Because on that day, I needed to go to a foot doctor to get my right. My big toe, my right big toe, my nail kind of amputated because it started getting black. And on the side, it started getting black and all that and oozing and all that. So I had to go see a specialist for that. $200 later, you know, my toenail got fixed and all that. So, yeah, I have a smaller toenail than I would have. But yeah, I actually lost half of that toenail as a baby or something like that. I had to get it fixed or something. I don't know. But yeah, my toenail looks ugly. But yeah, that's what it was. So I remember Canada and U.S. watching, and then I had to go to my appointment, so I missed the gold medal goal. I missed that gold medal goal live as, you know, I had to go to that appointment. So it was just, it just ticked me off in a sense. While I'm here, I might as well talk about the men's tournament. So, anyway, the Americans won Group A with Russia, Slovenia, and Slovakia. I'm surprised that Slovakia didn't do so well. That Slovenia beats Slovakia. Usually Slovakia could crush Slovenia. All that. Yeah, you know, the Americans won a shootout against the Russians to win the group. Group B saw Canada win. Well, they won twice. They beat Norway 3-1 and Austria 6-0, but they had to beat Finland in overtime to win the group. So they only got two points out of it. So yeah, that was for first place, Canada Finland, the final game. Austria only got Austria beat Norway, but that was it. Group C saw Sweden get through with a 3 0 mark, Switzerland drops to 2 and 1. The Czechs beat Latvia, but the Czechs couldn't do anything else. So, so anyway, there was a playoff round and all that. So, the top four teams, that being Sweden, Finland, Canada, and the Americans, would all make the quarterfinals. And then, based on points, they had to, based on points, they had to. Decide things in the qualification playoffs. Qualification playoffs, Slovenia beat Austria 4-0. Russia beat Norway 4-0. Latvia beat Switzerland 3-1. And the Czechs beat their neighbors, Slovakia, 5-3. So it made into quarterfinals. Everything was re-ranked. Sweden crushed Slovenia in 5-5-0. Russia got pissed off with losing to Finland 3-1 in front of their home fans. Canada beat Latvia 2-1. It was close. Uh, who was the goalie for... Christos Gudjevets, G-U-D-J-E-V-S-K-I-S, 
was just dominant. Canada outshot Latvia 57-16, and they almost blew it. But thankfully, Patrick Sharp and Shea Weber scored in the quarterfinals. Americans crushed the Czechs 5-2. So the semis saw the battle, the North American battle, two battles. The North American battle between Canada and the U.S. and the Nordic battle between Sweden and Finland. In the semifinals, Sweden won 2-1. Finland scored first on a goal by Ole Jokinen over Henrik Lundqvist. However, Louis Eriksson and Eric Carlson put in goals in the second period off of Kerry Lottinen, and Sweden won the game 2-1. Canada beat the Americans 1-0. Kerry Price outdid Jonathan Quick. It was a good battle. Jamie, Jamie Benn was the only guy to score a goal. It was just amazing to see those guys battle each other. Now... There's another story with that. Because of me being Blue Shirt Underground and me with Jim Schmidberg, me and Jim made a bet that whoever won the game, whoever the winning goal scorer was, they would have to put that person as their profile pick for, I, guess, I think I said 48 hours or something like that. Yeah, 48 hours. And Jim had to put a picture of Jamie Benn on it. The bronze medal game saw Finland crushed the Americans 5-0. So the Americans had no chance. It didn't help that team was lining scored twice. Yusu Jokinen, Yuri Haitinen, and Oli Mata scored. So the Americans got their butts handed them. Tuka Rask beat John Quick. Why the hell didn't they put Tuka in that for the semifinal for Sweden? But anyway, the gold medal game happened, and Canada took on Sweden on February 23rd. Kerry Price against Henry Lundqvist. Sweden got their butts handed them as Kerry Price put up another shutout. John Tay, Sidney Crosby, and Chris Kunitz. Scored for Canada, and they won the gold medal. So, yeah, Kerry Price was just amazing in that Olympics. Unfortunately, he's injury-prone now, and he's probably retiring soon. He better retire soon, because he hasn't played in years, a couple years. So, yeah, so that was the story of the ice hockey at the Winter Olympics. Dig it. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.